Hi, I'm Ajay Paul and welcome to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Steven and he asks, how should I implement material design on Android? Fantastic question, Steven. With all the recent news about Android L and material design, you would think that they are two things that cannot exist without each other. However, it is important to distinguish that Material is a design philosophy and L is a release of Android. While L contains tools that can make certain elements of Material easier to implement, you can still create an application that can implement most of Material design on earlier versions of Android. As an example, Material design has the concept of a promoted action called the Floating Action Button, or FAB for short. This is a button that is meant to float above the UI and signifies the primary positive action for a screen. For instance, the button in the Android Google Plus app to post your circles is a fab. Using Android L, we would achieve this effect by taking a button and setting an elevation value, then utilize an outline to define the outer shape of the view. This will tell Android how to cast the correct shadow and define the ripple area for L devices. On an earlier version of Android, we would take the same view and apply a fake shadow using a drawable, and instead of a ripple, we could use selectors to show a tap on the button. This would give us a set of two views that have a similar look and feel, regardless of Android API level. What we need to decide as part of a project team is which features warrant the time to build two separate implementations and which should have a single backwards compatible solution. This needs to be driven by the user's version of Android and their expectations. You should also take into account how difficult it would be to create a certain effect. For example, hero transitions are pretty easy to implement in L, and they can have a big impact for a small cost. A great example of this philosophy is Google's I.O. 2014 application. On pre-L devices, it keeps a very similar look and feel, but does not have some of the bells and whistles that the L version does. The source for this is publicly available, and this is something you should research if you plan on implementing material. For example, it shows techniques on how to support some features on L while keeping compatibility with pre-L releases. That's it for today's episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.